So Michael, it's great to see you again at your stables. It's been a while. Yeah, last, last year in the spring, wasn't it? That's right, I came up to see my horse Sympathy. So from my experience, um, why I really fell in love with wanting to be a, an owner, a part of a syndicate, attention to detail, which I really understand as an athlete. You know, there's a lot that goes into the whole process of deciding which horse you're going to choose at the sales. There are a lot that you, you choose and you can't afford. Um, <laughs> But we've been fortunate uh, in, in my time, but you don't go there and get exactly what you want. Um, it's a very important time, actually, the selection of your young stock. Talk me through the process between acquiring a new horse and you bringing them back to your stables. Yeah. What, what kind of things do you do? Well, it's a very long, slow process. Probably about four or five weeks before we ride them, and then we do a lot of trotting before we canter. So it's a very, very steady progression. But it's fascinating in the spring when you can determine the ones that are more precocious than others. You move them forward. You may just take them up to a, a certain pitch and realize, no, not ready to go any further than that. So there's a lot of observation. When that horse or that precocious horse comes through, do you recognize that you've got a champion in your midst? I think if you uh, selected 10 horses and you thought they're your top 10, I think a champion would come out of that top 10, but you'll get disappointments as well. It's not always a, a science though, it's a feeling. No, I think we've introduced more science into it, but there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of intuition and a lot of horsemanship and horsewomanship. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not long to the Quipco Champions Day. What's it like preparing for a big competition race day like that? Well, we love it. It's good to have the calibre of animals that you're trying to peak for the big day. The thing that people probably don't realise is just how much this really is a team effort. The, the, the lot of that that does the horse, they spend so much time with them. They're the people you need the feedback from. It's a great industry and as I said, you know, I've, um, I've been privileged to, to witness just how challenging it can be. You know, you're not always healthy, just as throughout my career. I experienced injuries, but getting your horse to the important meets is, is what it's all about. Yes, you know, and you can push too hard, as you know, and, and get into a little bit of trouble and you have to ease back. So you're always fiddling with it and learning, actually. But you love it. Love I it. Great way of life. <laughs>